Welcome to another Pandora's Box Manager tutorial. In this episode, we will introduce you to the MIDI Show Control feature. You should have your MIDI device properly installed on the Windows with the Media Manager opened and a loaded project. In order to control the timeline via MIDI Show Control, you have to enable it first. Go to the Configurations tab, which is to be found in the middle of your Windows top section. There you will find a tab called MIDI Show Control. After you've selected it, you will have to choose your MIDI device from a drop-down list that will appear now. Should you want to control the different layers of a particular site, you have to make sure to enter the correct player ID. Should you want to control the sequence instead, enter the sequence ID. You can find the sequence ID in front of the sequence name and the sequence window at the bottom of the screen. You also have the option to use Q subsection. MIDI Show Control allows you to use cues that have names like 2.3, 3.4.5, however in the Pandora's Box player cues can only be allocated whole numbers. When checked, the cue subsection will turn a cue called 2.5.1 into a whole number by multiplying the number times 1000. In our case, this would mean 2510. You have to use these cues to be able to transmit them to the Pandora's Box. You will have to decide what to do with the zero cue, whether to treat it like a regular cue use ignore to turn it into a stop and queue or a stop and queue and reset all. Now you can simply press run MIDI which will allow the received MIDI show control commands to drive individual devices or the timeline. It helps a lot to know what the MSC commands should look like exactly to ensure they drive the timeline correctly or jump to the right queue. Just go to the help file and search for MSC in order to get all the additional info needed for you to ensure that operations run smoothly. Thank you for watching.